Item number SCP-7000 Object Class Safe Update FAMU Special Containment Procedures All remaining 40 instances of SCP-7000 are currently stored within high security anonymous document containers within Site-19. All personnel accessing any SCP-7000 instance must have completed Level 4 Tactile Cognito Hazard Training and be equipped with Standard Issue Anti-Tactile Cognito Hazard Equipment. Use annual testing of any SCP-7000 instance requires direct approval of both the Site Director and the Ethics Committee. Update 15th of November 2010 Due to increased frequency of containment breaches at Site-19 since 2000, and the importance of SCP-7000 as a Foundation asset, all remaining 40 instances of SCP-7000 are to be stored within High Security Anonymous Document Containers and temporarily held at facilities on a rolling basis. Upon e-link vital energy EVE, levels reach five times the regional baseline, SCP-7000 is to be relocated immediately via secure transport. Description SCP-7000 consists of a set of 46 update 40 playing cards. The cards are printed on a typical card stack of the mid-19th century using an otherwise non-anomalous combination of inks. No manufacturer label or mark is printed on any SCP-7000 instance. SCP-7000's effects occur when an individual makes direct skin contact with any instance of SCP-7000. Upon contact, causality and probability are altered through an unknown mechanism. Detectable increases in regional EVE background levels have been noted to occur following SCP-7000's activation causing the individual to experience increased negative life events. These events include, but are not limited to, occurrence of traumatic or accidental injuries, onset of chronic or terminal disease, significant personal monetary loss and other financial hardships, dissolution of stable social connections and relationship loss, occurrence of natural disasters in areas of residence, death. The magnitude of this effect is directly proportional to the duration of contact with SCP-7000 and the value of the SCP-7000 instance contacted. Instances of SCP-7000 traditionally holding higher value in Western card games. Aces, Kings, Queens, Jacks, etc. have been noted to cause more severe effects. A notable exception of this trend occurs when an individual simultaneously contacts the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Clubs, the Eight of Spades, and the Eight of Clubs, resulting in the most severe effects SCP-7000 has demonstrated to date, usually instantaneously. No difference in effect has been noted between SCP-7000's different suits. Additionally, SCP-7000's effects appear to be commutative. Individuals exposed to SCP-7000 multiple times, or multiple individuals exposed to SCP-7000 simultaneously, have been observed to receive more severe effects. Testing has revealed that anomalies that similarly altered causality are capable of negating SCP-7000's effect. Anomalies tested include SCP-181, SCP-1968, SCP-3460, SCP-BEEP, currently uncontained in Havana, Cuba, believed to be in the custody of Fidel Costos' descendants. SCP-BEEP, currently uncontained in Moscow, Russia, reports indicate the object may have been neutralized following the collapse of the Soviet Union. SCP-BEEP, Currently believed to be in the custody of DC Alfine, the Under Security General of the Global Occult Coalition. Likewise, testing has revealed that the effects of an SCP 7000 instance 
are transferred to any document in which at least 20 micrograms of an instance of SCP-7000 is embedded, with this effect permeating upon removal of the instance fragment. Proposal is to create additional instances of SCP-7000 for testing purposes are currently approved on a case-by-case -case basis. Addendum 7000A Discovery SCP-7000 was first brought into Foundation containment in 1990 following a series of defections of Pentagram. Operating name for the United States Paranatural Warfare Command Operatives. Recovered documents from Pentagram records indicate SCP-7000 was originally discovered in Deadwood, South Dakota by ASCI, American Secure Containment Initiative, a precursor organization to the modern SCP Foundation, agent in 1879 following the town's destruction. It is unknown to what extent the ASCI utilized SCP-7000 during the period that followed. As such, records are lost during the assimilation of multiple ASCI assets by the Pentagram. SCP-7000 was utilized extensively by Pentagram operatives throughout the Cold War, where it was deployed as a cognito hazard against U.S. targets both domestically and abroad. The extent of this utilization resulted in the full consumption of six SCP-7000 instances during this time. Aces of Hearts and Diamonds, King of Spades and Hearts, Queen of Hearts, and Jack of Clubs. With only 40 SCP-7000 instances surviving upon Foundation acquisition, attempts to determine which, if any historical event were potentially due to the United States government's utilization of SCP-7000 are ongoing. Records suggest the highest utilization of SCP-7000 within the Soviet Union and its allies occurred between February 1960 to October 1962 as well as December 1980 to April 1986. Successful containment of several SCP-7000 fragments located throughout the former Soviet Union shortly after the Foundation acquisition of SCP-7000 lends credence to these reports. Pentagram records also suggest high domestic use upon political targets within the United States between March 1963 to November 1963, as well as June 1979 to May 1981, though these accounts remain unverified. Addendum 7000B Object Class Update As of March 3rd, 2010, following successful utilization of SCP-7000 instances by MTFs, Gamma-13, Awesome Ops Lawbringers, Delta-5, Frontrunners, Iota-10, Damn Veds, Lambda-14, One-Star Refuers, Mu-3, Highest Bidders, and Alpha-1, Red Right Hand. Within field operations, SCP-7000's object class has been updated to Tharmu. Field utilization has included, but has not been limited to, inclusion of SCP-7000 particles within letters and other correspondence. Embedding SCP-7000 particles into business cards offered by front companies. Embedding SCP-7000 particles into clothing tags of POIs. Deployment of SCP-7000 particulate into GOI building filtration systems. This method was noteworthy for use prior to the containment of SCP-1609 and Operation Falcon Punch. Due to the increased MTF operative turnover since 1995, training in the tactical use of SCP-7000 is offered on an as-needed basis. Addendum 7000C Incident SCP-7060 Level 4 Access Required Access Granted On July 5th, 
2016, 12 agents of MTF Alpha 1 defected to the Global Occult Coalition. SCP-7000, as well as three other SCP objects, were stolen and brought to GOC custody. It is currently unknown if SCP-7000 has been destroyed via standard GOC procedures. Protocols to shield critical SCP Foundation personnel from possible cognitive hazard attacks from SCP-7000 are to remain in place indefinitely. Attempts to relocate SCP-7000 fragments released within Foundation facilities as part of former intra-Foundation operations launched by MTF Alpha-1 are currently underway. Proposals for containment and or neutralization of SCP-7000's lingering effects on SCP Foundation personnel are under review by the Foundation Ethics Committee.